Rochelle here and I'm back to share some yarn goodness with you all today. Okay, so let's get started. I have some work in progress. I have a finished project and I have some yarn that I want to share with you all. Okay, so the first one I have, you all may recognize this one. The shape of it has definitely changed. I am working on the Bob Wilson 123 adult sweater. Now, this is all I have to show for it. And you all will remember from a few videos ago, I had gotten to the point where I had uh, split for the armholes. However, I totally got the sizing wrong on this. And the last time that I made this sweater, I used a worsted weight yarn. This is a DK weight yarn. And even though I went down one size, it's still too big. It was still too big. So I realized I had to go down two sizes. So I ripped it all back. I started over and I've been trying this on. And this is how much I've gotten done so far. I'm really excited about it. I really like her patterns, but I just need to do better with the sizing of them. But anyway, the yarn that I'm using for this is the Universal Universal Yarn Adore. And the colorway is Coral. And it is a light worsted weight number three yarn. Super, super squishy. Um, I do believe I have five skeins of this, so I should have more than enough to make this sweater. And hopefully, by the time it gets cold again, I will have this done. So I'm currently working on this. And like I said, I have been putting this on and measuring it because the armholes will go here. And so this portion needs to be, for my measurements, this portion needs to be 14 inches before I can start splitting for the, um, the armholes. So, so far, so good. The fit is okay, but we'll see how it goes. It's usually, I, I di really didn't even notice how big it was until after I had split for the armholes and I had done a few roll, um, um, done a few rows around the body and I was like, okay, I can't even decrease these stitches. It is too big. But anyway, I think this one's going to turn out just fine. And the hook that I'm using for this is a G hook, which is a number six, and it is a four millimeter hook. So yeah. All right, next project. The next project I am working on is called the Unexpected Angular Shawl, and it is a crochet project as well. And actually, it was the crochet project for the Carolina Fiber Fest this year. As you all know, the Carolina Fiber Fest, along with many other festivals, were unexpectedly and unfortunately um, either postponed or canceled. But anyway, this is the project that I was working on. And it's called the Unexpected Angular. Got it all wrapped up here. So I'm using my own hand dyed yarn, Queen's Yarn Boutique, in the color Serene. And so far, you know, it doesn't look like, you know, a whole lot. It looks like just a regular um, shawl. But I'm going to see if I can't get a picture up on it. I don't know how well you all can see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a picture of that shawl here. Okay, so you just saw, um, you just saw the shawl and it's a really cool looking shawl. It's kind of asymmetrical. It's really, really neat. Um, I was really looking forward to displaying it in my booth but I kind of ran out of time working on it anyway, but my plan was to work on it like during the Fiber Festival um, and have it done at least by that Saturday. But after the festival was canceled, I was kind of just, 
not in the mood to knit or crochet and you know it's come back the crojo has come back but it took a while but anyway it's a really beautiful simple shawl and I can't wait to finish it and this is a fingering weight yarn and the hook size that I am using is an F which is a number five and that's a 3.75 millimeter hook so it is tiny it's a tiny tiny hook um, as you all know I'm not the biggest fan of fingering weight but that's only because I like to finish projects so quickly but I'm actually enjoying working with this yarn it's really soft really squishy and yeah I like it that colorway is serene okay so let's put this away. All right, so the next project I wanna share with you all is actually a sewing project. I made myself a mask. I had seen a lot of these masks popping up all over uh, Instagram and YouTube and everyone's making them, everyone's doing a tutorial on them and I was like, well, let me just try one. So, you know, at first they were like, don't wear a mask. And now they're saying, wear a mask. So I just decided to make one anyway. And what I like about this is, first of all, I was able to use scrap fabric, which was awesome because I have a ton of scrap fabric that's not really big enough to do anything else with. And also I use bias tape instead of elastic. Um, I have heard that the elastic irritates some people it it kind of causes like a, a rubbing behind their ears and um also in terms of fit and sizing sometimes the elastic doesn't work out the best i do know some people that use hair bands hair ties which is awesome i mean we we all have hair bands just laying around the house so um you know that's really good but i really like the bias tape idea because you can just tie it behind your head and adjust it. So, like I said, I used some scrap fabric and then I lined it so it is reversible. So you can wear it this way or you can wear oops, <laughs> dropping stuff. You can wear it this way or you can wear it this way. <clears throat> and so I will just pop this on. So you all can see it covers my nose and my mouth very well and uh, it makes my glasses fog up but for those of you who wear glasses you know that everything makes your glasses fog up even if you walk outside after it's been raining or if you go from a very cold place to a very hot place your glasses fog up if I'm drinking tea or coffee my glasses fog up it's just it's insane but anyway absolutely love this it covers really really well and um, it is reversible so I can wear it either way that I want so yeah I haven't had the chance to wear it out in public yet I still feel a bit silly wearing a face mask in public but you know what it needs to be done so it's okay I have mine and uh, I hope to make a few more of these. They're kind of a dick thing. Like, they're really easy to cut out and just really easy to sew. I took my time with this one, but I really do feel like I could crank them out pretty quickly if, um, if, I, if I need to. And I'm currently out of bias tape, and I can't find bias tape anywhere. The Hobby Lobby here is closed. I have to go to the next county to get to a Joann's. Um, I have to go two more counties over to get to an AC Moore. I don't want to go to Walmart. Uh, there's not a lot of bias tape on Amazon. I may have to try eBay, but anyway, that's okay though. But at least I do have one and I love it. 
All right, so those are all of the uh, finished objects and whips that I have for you all today. The next thing I'm going to share, I'm going to share some yarn with you all that I have in my shop. Okay, so the colorways that I'm going to share with you all, they are available on my Pop Life Fingering, Delirious DK, Adore Worsted, and $19.99 Bulky Weight Bases. So most of these colorways are available on all four bases, but most of them um, are due or are dyed on at least three of those bases. So definitely feel free to check out my website, but let's go ahead and look at some of this yarn. So the first color is Hydrangea. Oh, and before I forget, Adore Worsted is 218 yards and uh, Delirious DK is 231 yards. Pop Life Fingering is 490 yards and Bulky Weight is 106 yards, just so you all can know the difference. This is Vintage Rose. It's a really nice tonal colorway. Very licious. Watercolor. Mossy. Glam Rock. Fiesta. So vibrant. Top Ramen. Phoenix. Koi. I like this one. Koi fish. Galaxy. You all know I love my purples. Sweet Caroline. Limonade. Vibranium. Love this one. I can't get enough of this color. So beautiful. I'm so happy that I'm able to show you all this on video because sometimes the camera when I take photos of it, it just doesn't capture how beautiful it is, but that is showing up very well in the viewfinder. Strawberry Swirl. Vormir, bright yellow, bright orange. <laughs> Don't know my colors, bright orange. Crazy Peacock, another favorite among many people. Roast It, this one's quite popular as well. Look at those pops of orange and brown. Spinach Casserole. This was one that I dyed ooh, when I first started dyeing yarn, I think back in 2016, 2017. And I have brought it back. It's beautiful. It has greens and grays and 
reds. It's beautiful. And this is Serene, which we saw earlier in my shawl pattern. And last, but most certainly not least, Wildberry. People have been going crazy over this one. So those are all of my colorways. Um, I did want to show you all a skein of bulky weight just so you can see the size of it. This is bulky weight. Of course, this is in vintage rose. Okay, so I hope that you all enjoyed that. All of the colorways are in the shop. Uh, they are in the shop now. And uh, thank you all so much for your support. I will put the link to my shop in the description box below. All right, so that's all the goodness that I have to share. Um, I hope you all have been keeping busy. I have, I still have to work from home um which has been good it, it still has its challenges but i've been working from home and so that's been pretty well my husband still has to go out and work you know um but i've been keeping busy i've been catching up on star trek i watched picard which was the season was amazing i've been catching up on star trek next generation and um been watching some doctor who stuff even though i have seen just about everything in doctor who i think i'm gonna like go back and watch the original series of the third and fourth doctor i think i'm gonna do that i've already seen the first two doctors uh let's see i think that is it i am going to leave you all with some beautiful photos of someone that won one of the giveaways as you all know when i reach a milestone in my uh, in my subscribers i do a giveaway and these pictures were submitted by um margo charles i hope i said maybe it's I hope I said your name right. I'm so sorry if I didn't. But anyway, she sent me uh, some pictures that she had taken. And she made, I believe it's a sweater. She said she, that she made the love note sweater for my darling daughter with the yarn that you sent to me. And it was some knit crate yarn that I had um, that I had sent to her as part of a giveaway. So I hope that you all enjoy those pictures. I will insert them after after this. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you all are doing well. And until next time, bye.